We have a very special video today. We have partnered with Disney Music Group and Disney Music Emporium to talk about Disney picture discs. And I brought the person that knows the most about Disney out of anyone I know, Mr. Leo Camacho. That's a bold claim, sir. Thanks for having me on here. I'm really excited. Uh, obviously, like you said, I love Disney. I'm wearing my, uh, my who's it's and what's it's Peter Pan Nana's nursery shirt. I want it to go it's deep. A deep today. cut. I have deep no cut. idea what that is. Because I don't know what you're gonna. I don't know what you're gonna show me. Like, I'm excited I'm, to show you. I'm excited to see what you got. And hopefully, you are too. Disney music, baby. Mm. Everyone loves Disney. I feel like that's just a unified front. If you don't like Disney, you probably aren't a human being. You're probably a robot. Disney music is the, the centerpiece of all Disney films. They have such incredible scores, incredible original songs. As a music person, that's what I appreciate about Disney movies the most. Who can say that they've ever been in a car and not sang out loud to a Disney song? Unless I didn't know it, there has never been a time. Like it's like it's almost like Manchurian Candidate. Where just I've got to like, write this report. Up. Disney music. Forget yeah. that. Boom. As a vinyl nut, I have been always trying to find the soundtracks of the Disney albums that I love. And what Disney Music Emporium has done is they have put the soundtracks of pretty much every amazing Disney film oh. on picture discs. Traditionally, has it been hard to acquire them on vinyl? A lot of the actual pressings seem to be overseas, but the actual like. A, like a like a black pick like a black regular disc pressing is not sure. is not common. So what they did because the imagery from all the Disney movies is so iconic, they wanted to show that off in a way where they would have a picture disc because you can see yeah. on both sides one of like a well color, the a visuals super... coexist with the with the music exactly. Just it's just yeah. peanut butter and jelly. You can't you can't have one without the other. I like peanut butter and chocolate personally. So here's the thing about picture discs. Yes, yeah. as someone who doesn't know the vinyl world as well Nothing. as I do, picture discs are traditionally slammed by people who don't know a lot about them. And Why? People say that the sound quality is worse because you have to print uh, a picture on it. Because there's a layer of plastic yeah, over them. Yeah. Whatever. And here's the thing. A lot of picture discs aren't great sounding. However, Disney cares about their music. Mm. All of the Disney Music Emporium picture discs are fantastic. They all sound great. Really? Yeah. Because I have, you know, records that are just on a standard black record that sound terrible. It's, yeah. it's all about how you do it. And, and you would know. You would know that it's kind of good I have, I have a couple records. Yeah. One or two in my room. Too many, honestly. So I picked these out specifically because all of these mean something to me, mm -hmm. and I wanted to show them off to you Ooh. and show you as your first picture disc experience. All right, and well, we can talk about the music and all the movies. You're hyping it. The standards are set quite Ooh. high. We need some Vuvuzela right now. Some. Uh... Eh, eh, eh. So first up. Oh my God! I don't even look. First of all, I don't <laughs> even know. I don't even know what's happening. I would imagine this is the soundtrack to The Force Awakens, but it is not. Just, it's not. It is not. Well, we, well, but maybe that's to come. You never then know. color me incorrect because it's a picture of BB-8 in purple and pink. Yeah, not in the movie. So and Kylo Ren over here looks like he just walked out of a like a Burning Man rave. So what this is? Uh huh. This is a, a single from the. The album Star Wars Headspace, which is an electronic album inspired oh. by Star Wars. Is that kind of what they did with like Daft Punk on Tron? They did de Yes, with, yeah. very similar okay. kind of thing. This is the lead single off of it by Shab Kava, and it is. This uh, is just one song. It's one song on both sides. Is that you, why it's a little bit small? Well, it's like yeah, it's a ten-inch picture disc. So usually, uh, this will have a full soundtrack, you know, half and half. This is just more of a single. Okay. Um, but the art, it does look like a rave. That's it's such a awesome. good point. It's, it's really like you cool got Kylo it. Ren who's like deciding to like shed the all right. black moody and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the rave. Mom, time. I don't wanna get a job, I wanna be a DJ. Yeah, that this is DJ. DJ Kylo Ren! Yeah, <laughs> DJ Ren. Yeah, and this is uh, the Rick Rubin rework and Rick Rubin is a legendary music producer who's okay. produced probably dozens of albums that you know and you don't even realize. Mm. Um, and it features a track who's a fantastic DJ as well. That's awesome. The song's called Jabba Flow, but this BB-8 <laughs> is fantastic. Uh, look at this rave BB-8, yeah. this like neon. Yeah. I'm such a huge fan of the aesthetic of this disc. I'm so into so, it. So, I would so, just so hang cool. that on my wall, like frame that and just have it on my That's wall. That's what's cool about picture discs is that normally I feel like some people are like, don't, don't hang your records, listen to your records, but with picture discs, they're so beautiful, and yeah. especially the Disney Music Emporium well, one. Which side would you display? Or would you have to get two copies? So get, you have to get a, like a side. rotating box to hang from the ceiling that just spins uh, constantly. I feel like I would I would try to get two, and then you could be that guy that has one in the package. One other. So if you haven't checked out Headspace, you should. You I'm should, going you should to do that because if you like music, electronic music, and well, I, obviously I'm a huge Star Wars fan too, so that works out. Cool. What else? What else Shall you got? We move for me? On. What else you got for me? Expectations are high now. You started off with that, man. I know, that's why like, I, I Now I have no idea where we're going. I gotta go all over the place to keep you on your toes. Okay. So, all over. 
Next up, we have a classic face you may recall. Oh, you went from new school to old school. Oldest school. All right, I'm just gonna take a wild guess. Yeah. Uh, the theme to the Mickey Mouse Club is on there. M I C K E Y M O U S E. He's a wise one. He he knows things. I can spell. This is side A, the Mickey Mouse March, and side okay. B, the Mickey Mouse Club alma mater, which is. Well, club. who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? M I C. Yeah. yeah. The the alma mater is is, is the closing like. Come along and sing a song and join oh, the jamboree. Oh, it's like the reprise. Yeah, and it's like, you know, yeah, M-I-C. See you real, real soon. K-E-Y. <laughs> Why? Because I have no we love you. idea. Oh, because we love you. Because we love you. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe that's yeah. not right. I wonder, I wonder though. So that's an old song. This is old. This was done. Is it the original, like, the original theme from the show, or has it been re-recorded? I would imagine it's the original because it's the original artwork. This was done for the Walt Disney 60th anniversary. Okay. And there's only 3,500 of these that exist in the world. For a Disney item, that's a pretty- That's pretty rare. That's a collectible. That's that like, Disney people are crazy about their yeah. collectibles. Well, because you have to think, you have two different kinds of collectors. You have Disney collectors after this, and you have record collectors after this. And then Disney record collectors. Which and then Disney record, which is a whole other subset. Yeah, so this is a classic art. I think this is really well done. This, yeah. this is, I mean, for, just so crisp for a Disney fan to like own this and put it on their wall or just to have this, I feel like this is such like an iconic yeah. thing to... That's another one you could display. I feel like all of these are very displayable. Yeah. You could just have them up on, on your wall and above your fireplace. I think I gotta get a new wall just to, just to put all a these Disney up. A Disney wall? A Disney wall. I wouldn't be mad at you. Then I gotta do it. Dude, even the artwork is, is like the classic. Yeah, that's like... Annette Funicello artwork and the... And Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Did you know that Justin Timberlake was a musketeer? He, he was. So, so, so was Britney Spears, Spears and Christina Aguilera. Aguilera. Triple J. Triple J. By the way, for Disney cred, I want to correct myself. I was singing the words of the march in the alma mater. The alma mater is when they say, um, "Now it's time to say goodbye to all oh, our company." No. That one. Sorry, I mixed yeah. them up. Ready for the next one? I'm ready for the next one. Bring it. This is a movie that is a huge staple of my childhood. Okay. I love it so much. And yes. I actually have uh, one of these characters on my desk at work. Oh. Mmm. Which one? We'll find out. Right now. Boom! Oh, you have Buzz on your on your desk. I do. But yeah. this isn't Buzz. This is That's Woody. That's not Woody. But I knew. I knew Toy Story. There's a snake in his boot. There's a snake in my boot. But you got Buzz oh, on the side! Surprise, so surprise. this is not the full soundtrack to any of the Toy Story movies. This are just this no. is called Toy Story Favorites. Oh, so it actually has. I was going to say, I feel like there's like really only three songs that I, mean, I remember. You know. Yeah. Look how I love how crisp this is. It's just like this white, striking white background. Just show, it allows the characters to be shown off. That's a, that's what's the most nice... impressive thing about all of them is the imagery is so crisp. Yeah, it's amazing, and the fact that they play music and the music sounds good is just. It's just, it doesn't even make sense. This isn't even real science. It's from the future. This is future music. Oh, sorry. It's from the future. So on this, we have side A, I will go sailing no more, strange things, okay. when she loved me. All right. Side I know those songs. Side B is Woody's Roundup. Oh, awesome. And then you've got a friend in me, para el buzz espanol. Oh, tienes un amigo con me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And me. Excuse me. I don't yeah. know what I'm saying. You're trying. And then we belong together. So this is yeah. a nice. Can you can you sing any of these songs? I just sang one. I can sing. You got a me. friend in me in English. Okay, but that's not even on here. No, it isn't. Surprisingly. This, surprisingly, no, no, no. this is. I do think, you know strange things? Mm -mm. No. Not all, I, I know it, but I don't know. Come what on, I'm do your best sing. Newman impression. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he became the Satchmo. By the way, I just want to point that's that how, out. That's how he sings. <laughs> yeah, he does. Strange things yeah, happening to me. <laughs> So that's my yeah. that's my best impression, um, <laughs> which is a sad. Statement. Which is real good. It's a real good impression. No, that's uh, cool. I like these songs. Yeah. I like that they took from the different Toy Story. Movies. Yeah, Woody's Roundup is. I love Woody's Roundup. I think there's that. Woody's Roundup. Oh yeah, duh. Whoa. Thank you. Ooh, Chris knows his stuff. The angelic voice from behind the camera speaks his mind. Uh, so this is another great one. I mean, Disney Pixar. How can you go wrong with that team? You up? can't. You can't. You can't. It's like the dream team. No, I mean, obviously, Toy Story defined CGI movies. It was like a staple in the. It, it's what launched Pixar to the level of fame that they are now. Listen, if you didn't cry during Toy Story three, we need to have a talk because emotionally there's something wrong with you. You're, that, you're the mean, robot that doesn't like Disney. You're the robot we discussed. You are probably Zerg himself. <gasps> Zerg! I'm gonna say it. <laughs> is that is that your Sounds Zerg like impression? No, that's my that's my Buzz looking at Zerg. Zerg. Impression. Oh yeah. Zerg. Space command. Pew pew. 
That's a good one. This is cool. That's Thank cool. You. I'm, I'm into this. What's cool about Disney Music Emporium is because Disney has so many IPs that they work with. Yeah. Like, it really does cover the full spectrum oh, of it's got everything, everything, which is really great. So there's, there's more than what you brought today. Oh yeah, these are the ones okay. I selected. The line is astronomical and it's in the size. Like there's everything you can think of. They really? have a picture disc for. I just picked the ones that were really special to me. Right. Well, let's see what else is special to you. This next one um, is by an uh, an artist who has a very established career outside of this film. Hans Zimmer. Not Hans Zimmer. Okay. Very good guess. All right. I'm just going to tell you cuz you're going to guess it probably next off. Okay. Way. What is it? Mr. Danny Elfman. Danny Elfman, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oingo Boingo. Oingo Boingo. This is the best Oingo Danny Boingo Elfman album did... of all time. <laughs> this actually might be. Dead Man's Party and this, they're kind of just like right there. Dead Man's Party, get it? It's Dead Man's... Dead Man's Party. Ba, ba, ba. Nightmare Before Christmas. I Obviously. Mean, this is one of the most amazing... Obviously. Disney. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, we have so many discs here. Oh, I just want to see. Let's take yeah, them, them out. Let's, them out. Each, let's check them out. We can each look at one. So, this is one for you. Okay. Uh, I got uh, Mr. Mr. Jack Skell, yeah. Skellington. Uh, Mr. Uh, Skellington there. Skellington, and where? And on the other side. Santa Skellington, and then you've got Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I've got the mayor, uh, weird, prune nose, and the clown with the tearaway face. But where's where's Zero on this? I hate to break it to you, but Zero's dead. He was dead the whole time! Whoa! Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs> no, so his uh, actual name is Dr. Finkelstein, or Finkelstein. Depending on where Depending you're from, where in the you're world. from, Germany maybe. Germany or not Germany? Uh, no, that's him. He's always he's the creepiest one to me. Though. What do you think of this soundtrack? Um, I think it's phenomenal. I think Good that answer. Uh, Good answer. Halloween Town and uh, this is Halloween mm -hmm. and uh, what's this are. Oh, what's of, this? What, what's this is one of my like favorite Disney songs. I mean, I know it's not a Disney song, but like it's one of my favorite songs in the Disney repertoire yes. of all time. I did a cover of it on my YouTube channel. I feel like that would be a great karaoke song. Uh, but this is great. This is a double disc picture disc. Double the disc first one we have disc. so far that's actually two discs. Why two discs? Uh, they're just spreading it out over to uh, to even increase the fidelity even more. Oh, really? That's a thing? Like yeah, the, the more, the more discs songs you have on given? one side, uh, the more the tracks are kind of like compressed into themselves. So like there can yeah. be like, if you have a ton of tracks on one side, they could be, if, depending on how it's made, it can be distorted as it gets closer to the mm -hmm. center. Um, so spread, sometimes they'll spread out discs and change the, the RPM of them just to increase fidelity. And this is a cool way to do that. Well, the question that, again, uh, like before is, which sides do you display? Yeah. I mean, you gotta go playing. Jack. That picture, that, that Jack is so iconic. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this side looks better presentationally. Like if I were to hang that on the wall, it looks cooler than this. Arguable. Maybe not. Arguable. Maybe not. I would do. Arguable. I think I would do these two. These, I think. I think this is how I yeah. display it. Or you could just get two copies Again. and do all four. And yeah. What's your favorite song? What's this? Yeah. What's this? Yeah. I mean, what's this is just. Oogie like, Boogie song is really good Oogie too. Boogie. Though. Oh man. There's this, no, so this is the entire soundtrack. Yeah. So you get everything. Yeah. Nab the Oogie Boogie song, Sally song, Christmas Eve montage. Yeah, everything. Kidnap the Sandy Claus. La 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 la. That was terrifying. We're actually going to change to another Disney property that is not one we've seen thus far. Okay. But that leaves oh. only one thing. Wait. What are we talking about here? So we've already seen some Star Wars. Yeah. We've seen some Disney. There's one more thing. What's left? Marvel? Oh! Wow, it's the shield. Cap! Look at that vibranium shine! So is this vinyl made of vibranium? This is actually made of vibranium. This is Captain America the First Avenger. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I can if I can think of the song, like off the top of my dome. The now. theme song. Captain America, he's the first Avenger. That's a song? <laughs> Are you just making that up? <laughs> yes. Well, because I was thinking about the scene when he it's goes... It's not a pirate in, shanty movie. Well, he... Well, he sailed the sea, my brain. No. Remember when he goes, when it's like he wears the Captain America, like the, 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 the cheesy suit back in the day when he's performing on stage, and there's like a cheesy yeah. song like that. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah, it could have been. I don't it know. It could have been. This is cool because this side you see, there's Cap. That's pretty cool. And, and a Hydra, well, Hydra soldier. Hydra soldier. I remember this image was the first image that was that showed his suit in full. Like, oh really? When they, yeah, when the movie was like even in more development. to put it on the on the kind desk. of kind of strangely iconic. And I can't think of a better thing to put on no. than the shield. I mean, that's like just. Can you like throw it? Chill out, man. I'm just playing with you. Sorry. I mean, you could throw it, but then I would throw you out. Not worth. Not worth it. We got more to talk about. Yeah. Uh, so God, I'm gonna try to remember the theme this whole time. Yeah. That's not the theme. 
I remember when I watched this movie. Okay, the music's by Alan Silvestri, who's like a legendary yeah, composer, like Back to the Future and all kinds of great, great things. So I There's remember a lot, this, this is a lot of music too. But yeah, so it's, a, it's the full it's the full score. Okay. Um, which is awesome because I remember when I watched this movie, my favorite part was the music. Mm. So I think it's this, very inspiring music. Yes. Yeah. It's great for it's sure. Like a thousand very percent. Very patriotic. Captain America, he's a good dude. He's the first star. Okay. <laughs> so, we got boom. That's cool. Boom. Easy, great display piece. Either side is a winner. Shall we continue? Please, carry on. Disney Music Emporium is killing it right now. They're crushing it. They're crushing, They're crushing it. it. They're crushing me and my nostalgia is just exploding. And they're crushing my wallet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, they're quite affordable if you go to the website. Really? No, it, actually, they are, they're pretty affordable. <laughs> like you're like, <laughs> yeah. no, but listen, but actually, really like, affordable. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go to a heavy hitter. Um, dude, I saw it. You just look. I look. I'm no. so sorry. I'm so sorry. Just bring it up on the table. Bring it up right now. No. 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 I can't even do it. Um, this is the first <clears throat> movie I ever saw in theaters as, as a young babe. It is the first movie I ever saw twice in theaters. Wow. You really had to one-up me there? That's really <laughs> that's what we want? <laughs> the Lion King featuring yes. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. JTT. Actually, not featuring. He's not on this album because he doesn't sing uh, his parts. Featuring Elton John. That's correct. And uh, there are two pop versions, uh, the Elton John versions of the song. He wrote the lyrics for this album. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he wrote it. A, he co-wrote it with Hans Zimmer. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, what? there is. Score composed by Hans Zimmer. Uh, music by Elton John. I was right. Uh, this and, image uh, is amazing. By this image is amazing. Yeah, the image is super. This is the uh, this is the the box art for the for the movie when it was when it was. But it looks so good. It looks, it looks so. It looks crisp. newly painted. Yeah, it's this like it's insane. like remastered. I, I shouldn't hide it from you guys. Yeah, show the show them. God, that looks so good. It looks really really sharp. So I, I don't like how Scar's just chilling there because it's like what, they wouldn't want Scar to be no, there. No, but see, this is this is this, this is, is called visual storytelling. The heroes <laughs> are advancing. They're moving onward and upward, where Scar is facing the other direction because Ooh, he doesn't. Symbolic. He doesn't flow the same way. He doesn't Java flow the no, same way. He's giving him the stink eye like the. Be prepared. He's not prepared. For He's not what prepared. This for album's gonna bring to me. Yeah, this album. Oh, and this side we got that soul. Fiki, that Rafiki. Rafiki life. Uh, oh, holding up, up that baby. baby Samba. Yeah, this is probably I feel one of the most iconic Disney images. Oh yeah. Period. Oh yeah. Period. There's a lot of firsts in this one. So this is the first album. I know a lot about this one for whatever reason. This is the first album that had uh, a pop star uh, write songs. Yeah. So Mr. Like, Elton John. Yeah, in every song, and then obviously with Phil Collins, like he followed that up. Uh, this is the first Disney movie that started with a song. Yeah. Like from the very beginning. That's cool. And I didn't started know that. that trend. Uh, yeah, that was a huge one. Um, and I believe uh, th th a lot of people will say that this was sort of the culmination of the Disney Renaissance. Like every single Disney movie uh, of the Renaissance leading up to this, meaning, meaning Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and The Little Mermaid, mm -hmm. were sort of perfecting the formula. They're all obviously works of art in their own right, and and you can have have this argument, which right. we do on my channel. Uh, but but The Lion King is sort of the perfect blend of everything Disney had learned leading up to this point, especially in music. I do this with cats a lot. <laughs> it's impossible not to pick up a, yeah, any animal. Yeah, any small this. animal. I just, I, I hold them and I, and I try to go, Simba. Simba. And then they're just like, thank you. This is my, uh, my, my, um, this is tied for my favorite Disney movie. And what is number one? Something else I haven't showed you yet. Oh, well, well, well. We'll get to it. I'm saving it for Favorite last. song? Favorite song on here? Oh my gosh! How do I? By the do way, it? every single song on this album is a hit. Even if you count uh, "In the Jungle" by The Tokens, uh, that is a classic pop song. So every single song on this album is a has some sort of you know notoriety to it. I feel like I I just can't wait to be king is just the best song. Like just which that one? Scene have, you heard, have you heard the Elton John version of it? Yes, there's, that, an, El ooh, there's an Elton John it's, version. It's this one right this here. is the full they soundtrack. Have both. This they is have the, both. Full, yeah. the full original soundtrack to the movie. Also, can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, which one? They have both also. I know. So it has the full soundtrack of what is arguably the best Disney movie of all time. This is such a great pick. I'm so happy to own this. Like, four year old me is like stoked right yeah. now. Yeah, and, and I, I think. It's, let me see this real quick. Even, I was going to just make a point that even the instrumental tracks on here, not the lyric based. Oh, yeah. Them, everything about, everything the, about, about the music soundtrack is perfect. Is perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. And it, it's hard to like say that and not sound like you're just embellishing, but it is. A, this is a perfect film. Perfect film. Everything visuals, story, score. I think it's the most perfect Disney film. Cohesive, but it's not your thing. favorite. It's not my favorite. But it's the most perfect. It is the most perfect. This is amazing. Uh, wait, again, which side do you. Which side do you I think this, I would do Rafiki. Uh, I, no, I'm gonna do this side. 
Nah, you're right. I probably do that one. It's just so. It's just all your bros. It's all your bros. You got Simone and Pumbaa. Like you got the Nala. bro of the bros. Yeah, like you got you got those birds that are in that one shot. You know what I'm talking about. You've got the animals. Who, something cool is going on over something there. Something cool animals. Yeah. Also, this looks like new artwork. This Rafiki artwork. This looks like classic artwork. So I think I would go. With this this is one that you have to get two of and frame both. You just can't. Like if you're gonna if, like get three, one for a play copy, two for frame. This is this Fine. is a three for for sure. Fine, I'll buy I'll buy three of them. I don't care. Fine, I'll buy six of them. I don't care. Watch me do it. I'll just buy them all. I'll buy twelve of them. All right, let's keep going. Let's go. Let's on. keep going. What else? This you got? next movie is, is a later movie in the Disney compendium. Hmm. Um, it is a film that I was super excited. I, the trailers got me so stoked as a yes. kid, uh -huh. and it came out and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I remember the soundtrack being real great. Okay. So I picked this one because I haven't listened to the soundtrack in a while. Maybe oh since, really? But yeah, I remember loving the music. I remember loving the movie. Bold claims. Oh, Lilo I did and not Stitch. expect this one. Lilo and Stitch. You picked this one out. I picked this one out. Why did you pick this? That's because so, that's so interesting. Look at Stitch. He's a that's little... Stitch. That's Stitch. I was going to say, can you do a good Stitch impression? Oh, probably. Probably. Can you give a, a deeper cut quote? Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pop this puppy out, yeah. shall we? Do you know the songs on this album? Because I only know... I know one. I know uh, Hawaiian World Coaster Ride. Um, which is the blanca, first blanca, one. Blanca, blanca, blanca. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's such a great song. It's so good. Um, yeah, but so we got Hawaiian roller coaster ride. I mean, this, oh, that's right, you got the Elvis soundtrack songs is Elvis. on this. Also, there's a scene where he becomes uh, like he becomes the uh, what do you Stitch call it? Stitch Elvis. Yeah, no, but he becomes like the record player himself. He puts his nail on the spinning record, and then she opens his mouth. It's like you ain't nothing but a hand. Oh yeah, Remember? yeah, yeah. This is like a meta record, in yeah. my opinion, because there literally is records in the film that Stitch becomes the record player for. Yeah. And so, as a result, that's the side that I would frame on. Oh, so cute. For sure. How cute is Stitch? Don't get me wrong. Like... Don't get me wrong. I love... I love Lilo. Don't get me wrong. Oh, but, oh right. It's called and, Lilo and Stitch. Right. And Nohana means family, and I'm, I'm all about this. By the way, this movie, uh, criminally underrated. Uh, but the soundtrack is amazing as well. Yeah, and Elvis. You just got, you got all El these Elvis It's songs cool that you get it. Elvis on here, yeah. I mean, you get Stuck on You, Suspicious Minds, Heartbreak Hotel, You're the Devil in Disguise. There's a ton. Hound Dog. Like, yeah, this might as well be an Elvis record. Like, just saying. Uh, but this is awesome, and this movie's really, really cool. Just makes me want to go surfing and listen to Elvis. We're down to the final two. Okay. Um, I saved the two best for last. All right. What do we? I'm, I. I uh, you threw a curveball with Lilo and Stitch, and so I don't know what to expect Ooh. anymore. All right. So next up is another double disc. This is something that's super special to both of us. Okay. The Wars. I'm talking about Star that. Star Wars. The Force Awakens. It is the original motion picture soundtrack by a little man named John Williams. I don't know if you've heard of him. Yeah, I think I've loved uh, I'm a big fan of literally everything he's ever done. He is one of the most brilliant composers of all time. Of course. And Star Wars music is my favorite overall soundtrack really? music. Yeah. That's pretty bold. Empire Strikes Back soundtrack is just Specifically, my, my jam. Me too. Of the of all of the Star Wars movies, Empire. But the soundtrack, I would say capture the essence I of the original. I loved the soundtrack. I mean, just yeah. the fact that they got John Williams to come back and do this is, just, mm -hmm. is so good. And Ray's theme oh, is yeah. one of my favorite Star Wars tracks ever. Shall we look at these discs, these beautiful discs? Yeah. Please. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's the, the reason you're here. So we got, are we allowed to spoil? We got Han the Mon. Can we spoil? At this point, if you haven't seen The Force Awakens, where are you at? Uh, Father and Son on one disc, which Father is great. And son. We got Mr. Han Solo, who I believe is the most iconic character in History. Really? Because Darth Vader would like to speak to you. Mm -hmm. Han is more iconic. Nah, dude. Han All right, Solo. let's settle this in the, in the comments below. Yeah. Who do you think is more, more iconic? Not a better character. No, I'm not saying better. Not I'm your saying favorite re character. Recognizable. Iconic. Darth Vader is literally an icon. We got our boy Kylo. Yeah. Kylo Ren. With that, with that, you can't Hot see, topic superstar. You can't see the full cross saber in this, but you get no. it. It's a very terrifying image of him. Showing Iconic off his saber as well, and then yeah. I, I did I did like what they did with the aesthetic with everybody covering. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool. yeah, yeah. They're covering one eye. Yeah, yeah. His blast, I, you know, the blaster, the classic, classic, classic blaster, mm -hmm. which he's known for. And then the other side. I mean, I'm sure you can you can see now. You can guess sure, who's sure, going to sure. be on the other side. But we have Mr. Finn. Finn with that blue saber that <laughs> he he brandishes briefly. Yeah, <laughs> not not a very not extended, very good at it. Not yeah. very good. Uh, but that's still Finn. But still then cool. we have. Miss Ray, who I am head over heels in love with. Daisy Ridley, she does such a phenomenal job playing she Ray. Does. She crushed She it. is my favorite part of the movie. She's yeah. just such a good character, and I'm really excited to see how the character grows over the next mm -hmm. two films. We still have one more. Oh, oh, we have one more? Yeah. Well, then show it to me. All right, all right. So we agree this score is fantastic. Uh, yeah, so okay, let's uh, let's do the same game. Uh, obviously, which sides do you display? I'm going to say obviously you display Daisy Ridley on this side. 
I would go this. I would do both sides of the force. This is what I would do. Okay. I would. <laughs> this was one you have to buy dupes of, and you have to uh, do all four. I mean, all four you, are so are so excellent. They're yeah. It would be it would be portraits. cool to have all four of them lined up. On yeah. Table. It feels incomplete to only have two of the four. Yeah. And if you get all four, yeah. may the force be with you. This is this is great, and I love the packaging. Yeah, but that's this is the other thing I was gonna say. Uh, this is also a really good option. Oh yeah, the two lightsabers, the red and That'd blue. Really that's why you have to get all four. But this is cool because it comes in this case that has you know you can display them like this. Like you can, this is really this is really well done. I agree. Minimal packaging, I love it. I agree. All right, we are down to what a tie for my favorite Disney movie. Tied. Wait a minute. Tied. I said Lion King. Oh, Lion King. Okay. Gotcha. This is a movie that I know you love. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact you love, and I love it too. I remember seeing it as a kid and just, I was obsessed. I had all the toys. Oh, no. This is my favorite. This is my number one Disney movie. Aladdin, which is, I think, the best Disney movie. I, I think mean, it's the best. In my, it's my favorite. I don't, I can't, I can't say it's the best because I think Lion King is the superior movie overall, but this is my absolute favorite Disney movie. Also, uh, really, really set some standards in Disney movies a lot, by the way. The first um, uh, high profile celebrity voice to take a take This a gentleman character. right here? Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Robin Williams. Not saying is... there weren't celebrity voices, voices before. I mean, Billy Joel was a voice in Oliver and Company. Right. Uh, uh, but it, it even, I mean, you could argue that some of the voices in like Pat Carroll and stuff like that were. were... This is this is a different league. This, this is, is a... this is like, we, we took it up to uh, A-list celebrity voicing a character. And since then, it's sort of been the trend with every Disney movie following. So this is obviously, I think this is one of the best performances ever. Of yes. Robin Williams, the genie, just vocally, yeah. his, his line delivery. But this soundtrack, is a greatest hits. I mean, Arabian Nights, Legend of the Lamp, One mm -hmm. Jump Ahead, which is my favorite. One jump, ahead of the jump jump. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I feel, only one I can't afford. And that's everything. Uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite scenes. Yes. And then, uh, Friend Like Me. But but I, I would argue that A Whole New World is one of the best Disney songs. I think that Alan might... Menken. Can Alan we talk Menken. about Alan Menken we just, for a second? Can we just like Alan Menken? A like... moment for Alan Menken. Well, wow. Thanks, uh, uh, I love A Whole New World. A Whole New World is, uh, and I'll even say it's one of my favorite songs, but I think Prince Ali is a really fun song. Really yeah. cleverly written. Yeah. One Jump, uh, The Reprise. Head of the Jump Jump? One Jump, ahead. no, not in that one. That's the Riff Rap. Street rat. Yeah, exactly. I had. I had. To, this is my. I had to I get this one. This is huge. Um, um, I don't. I'm trying to think now. Which side would you? I would display that, that side. Yeah, yeah it's just too. too classic. So you just saw all of the ones I picked. What do you think of my selections? Uh, I think you have a very, just a really balanced. Yeah, there. I tried to get a little bit of everything. Yeah, I, I'm even impressed that you went with Captain America, to be honest. I just want to reinforce that you can find everything that we talked about in this video on Disney Music Emporium's site. I'm going to link to it in the description. If you love Disney and you love music and you love vinyl, you have to get these beautiful art pieces because they sound good. I know you've this heard is things. The, this is the premier way to get Disney music on vinyl. Yes, you've, yeah. you, you've heard things about picture discs and sometimes that's true, but these sound good. Yeah. If you like listening to the music, I highly recommend buying them. If you like the visuals, they are the most incredible art pieces. You can. These are ones I would definitely approve of hanging. I think Disney Music Emporium did a really excellent job with these. No, I think, I think they're awesome too. Obviously, I'm a big Disney fan and Disney music is... If you like Disney, you like Disney music. That's just hand in hand. And uh, I, I, I want to listen to I, I don't think I've ever listened to Disney music on vinyl, so this will get me to do it. I brought you on the show not just because you're a friend, but because you are a Disney fanatic. I love Disney. And you have a YouTube channel called Thingamablogs, which Indeed. is all about Disney. Do you want to talk about it for Yeah, time? sure. So, uh, yeah, like you said, I have a Disney community-driven channel. Uh, we put up a new video every single week. It always revolves around Disney. It's different things from Disney facts, parks, vlogs, and, and park advice. Uh, we do, we sometimes show exclusive items, uh, we go to cool Disney events, and we show all of that on our channel. We give Disney facts. If you're a Disney fan, it's probably the channel for you. You'll probably enjoy it. Hopefully, I would, I would hope that you do. Come We're going to put all of that in the description as well. Yeah. So while you're checking out Disney Music Emporium, you can check out Thingamablogs and see what they're all up to. Yeah, that'd be cool. And follow me on social media too if you like. I post a lot of Disney content. He's a, a killer cosplayer. He, cosplay. he does some perfect replications and you should check it out on Instagram. If you like this video, there's going to be another one coming up with the mm. two of us and that's going to be even more exciting because we're going to be talking we're gonna about get some, new stuff. some exclusive Unreleased. stuff coming to the conventions this summer. So get ready for that. That reveal is going to be hot fire right. and I can't wait to do it with you again because this was man. fantastic. Appreciate it. And in the comments below, you know what would be cool? Uh, what Disney soundtrack is your favorite? Yeah. Because there's going to be some fire happening down there people are passionate about. This. I'm excited to hear what everyone's uh, arguments are because yeah. I want to I want to I want to chime in. And I hope you will too. I will too. I'll, I'll, absolutely, man. Thank you for having me on the show. Anytime. If you like this video, give one of these thumbs up. 
please subscribe and we'll have new videos for you every week. Later.